Hello, good morning. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the uh, European markets for Monday morning, 23rd of May 2016. Be sure to visit tradesignaler.com and get your latest signals and market updates from leading providers. And you can access it and download it from the App Store, uh, Apple App Store, and the Google Play Store. So www.tradesignaler.com. Okay, folks, now uh, in terms of the uh, analysis from uh, last week, uh, unfortunately, I was away. Uh, I'm back now, and the uh, videos will be uh, back up and running as scheduled, morning and afternoon. Okay, so in terms of uh, the um, uh, U.S. market close Friday, we did get a uh, a small uplift, uh, uh, a uh, revival, so to say. If I just bring up the uh, S&P 500, you can see the pivot low was 2027, and we had quite a substantial thrust. Now that we are into resistance at this 2055 zone. And therefore looking for a potential pullback now the reason why we were obviously down was based on fed rhetoric and increased expectations of a rate hike going into june uh, a lot of the fed members all increased their um, shall we say uh, uh, hawkish stance uh, now we had lockhart lacker williams all making the case for a potential june hike uh, and also mr dudley who initially was dovish and now seems to be uh, favoring conditions for a potential hike. Now, over the weekend, we've had Fed Dove Rosengren as well, saying conditions for a hike are on the verge of uh, potentially being met. So everybody has increased their bear, their hawkish rhetoric, and that obviously means a stronger dollar. A stronger dollar obviously means the fact that uh, we are looking at uh, commodities coming under pressure, and therefore you are looking at FTSE and S&P 500 weakness. So okay, any commodity-related index will certainly come uh, or expect to face a weakness. Now the S&P 500 had flushed quite substantially, so a, a, a short squeeze, a potential rally was due. But the H&S formation, as you can see, is ever present, and therefore that bias bias will remain on the S&P 500. So expect further weakness from my perspective uh, in the U.S. markets, and and that will obviously flow through into European markets as well. Okay, so certainly bear that in mind. Now in terms of the uh, Euro Asian markets this morning, as we are into uh, the, uh, the day, so uh, just give you an insight there uh, in terms of the Asian markets overnight. We've had the Nikkei down, and that's mainly due to the fact that we've had uh, comments over the weekend, and also with regards to this G7 meeting and the rhetoric between the US and Japan certainly increasing as well. Uh, and uh, you also have had uh, concerns with regards to Iran because they have stated that they are going to maintain their oil production. Uh, at the level seen and potentially even increase it so therefore that's bearish for the, uh, the the commodities in general and specifically oil so you've had weakness there weakness from japan as well we've had japanese exports and imports spending weaker overnight and uh, obviously we've had this uh, in, in uh, argument or inconsistency between the us and uh, the japanese in terms of usdjpy which has sent the usdjp by below 110 below 110 obviously you are looking at potential risk off scenario okay now, in terms of European markets, let's have a look at what uh, what to expect for today. Uh, we do have um, a German data out uh, very soon at half past seven. Uh, we have markets, PMI, services, composite manufacturing, also from France, also from the Eurozone. Mr. Bullard and Mr. Williams is uh, due to speak. We've got your market PMI, consumer confidence in the Eurozone as well. So this is a barrage of information. Now, ge uh, German and French data will be important along with the Eurozone. And that should dictate sentiment for the remainder of the day. Okay, folks, in terms of uh, technicals, let's have a look at the actual technical picture. Let's bring up the euro stocks first and foremost. And the daily chart of the euro stock, as you can see, we were, we were potentially building a base here. But again, the concern will be with regards to the euro USD. If the euro USD starts to pick up uh, on the back of, if we do get any side of weakness or strong, even stronger data, then you are looking at uh, further weakness in the, uh, the actual. Uh, European equities, as you can see here, Euro USD is has found support at this is a 1.12 level. So a move higher on the Euro USD, obviously we all know what will happen next. The uh, equities certainly will come under pressure. So that's certainly something to uh, uh, consider, okay, and digest. Let's go back to the Euro stocks now. Like I said, uh, daily chart certainly is um, building a potential base here. Although uh, you are looking at 28.50, 28.60 potentially to be here as well. The 60 minute chart, the euro stocks, yes, you have, so you seem to have built a base here. Uh, so, again, how strong this base is, we've yet to find out. And, like I said, one of the most important factors at the moment will be the uh, 
euro usd so keep an eye on the euro usd folks okay very very important at the moment you do have resistance at this 29.60 zone but then again one could argue that you are looking to potentially throw straight into 29.80 and 3000 zone as well okay so certainly take that into consideration in terms of the german dax now we owe you certainly seem to have the battle of the two gaps that's why it certainly seems at present uh, in terms of the german dax now again uh, attention needs to be paid there currently we are at the 9915 zone 9915 zone obviously is resistance and then you have gap fill resistance at 9940 as well the unfilled gap at 9750 or 9790 sorry will be uh, instrumental and key in terms of price action any weekday throughout journey this morning you are looking at that gap close we certainly seem to have made a made a base at this 9770 zone on the german dax so again that's certainly something to consider as well Although having said that, the German daily chart certainly is carving out a potential H&S formation. So again, further food for thought. In terms of the French CAC, let's bring that up. Now the daily chart is into resistance here at this 4360 zone, whether or not we can break above it. The 60 minute chart again is into resistance as well. So you do have uh, multiple zones of resistance and therefore we need to observe and keep an eye out for. Uh, the 10 minute chart, let's just have a look at the French CAC. Certainly did finish uh, stellar, so it's finished strong on... Uh, on, on the Friday, although you have left an unfilled gap behind. So, weekday throughout of uh, France today, then you are looking for that gap to close very quickly. Okay, folks. So, certainly something uh, to consider as well. An unfilled gap is not healthy in the technical analysis world. Now, the FTSE 100. Let's just go to the weekly chart first and foremost. It was an inside bar, certainly bearish consolidation. Obviously, a stronger dollar with hawkish comments. Adding the fact that the Iranians are not going to freeze production and the FTSE is only into trouble. Adding also you've had Bre Brexit concerns uh, or, or over the weekend with Osborne and Cameron, certainly at loggerheads and the uncertainty certainly in growing and increasing as the Leave campaign gets stronger and stronger. So again, that certainly is something to consider as well. Okay, now the daily chart has a potential H&S formation. We, are, we do have an inside bar. If the FTSE can close above this 961... 60 zone or 6160 zone and you do have a bullish move higher up to the 6230 zone the 60 minute chart on the FTSE again you are coming into resistance at the 6155 6160 and then obviously you are looking at 6170 so anywhere in that zone you are looking at potential resistance now the 10 minute chart again on the FTSE itself you do have supports at 6120 and then 6.110 on the foot seat. Now, you do have a double top resistance at 6.160. So, again, something to uh, to watch out for. It'll be interesting to see how the Iranian news has an impact on the foot seat itself. Okay, I think that's a market wrap, folks. Like I said, please do visit tradesignal.com and download the latest trading app for all the your live analysis and updates. Also, uh, the visit the uh, website www.cfts.com, cfts.com. For, uh, who are the specialists in, in spread betting and CFD brokerage and certainly uh, qualify for up to 25% uh, bonus on your uh, trading account. Okay, I think that's a market wrap. Wish you the best for the uh, trading day on Monday the 23rd of May. Goodbye.